the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. <clears throat> We're at the 23rd of December, the day before Christmas Eve, two days before Christmas Day, and the O Antiphon for today is Emmanuel, which means God is with us. From the prophecy of Isaiah, and this is the sign I will give you, the virgin shall conceive and bear a son, and his name will be Emmanuel, God with us. And Jesus is God with us. He is the resurrection and the life, and he is with us through all things. Jesus said, Come to me, O you who labor and are heavy burdened, and I will give you rest. And behold, I'm with you all days, even to the end of the world, the fulfillment of the world, the consummation of the world. So we'll light our three Advent candles. In fact, I'm going to light four Advent candles because we're not going to get much lit tomorrow, even though it's still the third week. O oh, come, O oh, come, Emmanuel, and ransom captive Israel, that mourns in lowly exile here, until the Son of God appear. Rejoice, rejoice, Emmanuel, shall come to thee, O we is Rael. And this is from the St. Gregory Prayer Book, published by Ignatius Press, San Francisco, 2019, page 142. O God, by whose word all things are sanctified, pour forth thy blessing upon these candles, and grant that we who use them may prepare our hearts for the coming of Christ, and may receive from thee abundant graces who livest and reignest for ever. Amen. O Lord, store up thy might, we beg thee, and come, that by thy protection we may deserve to be rescued from the threatening dangers of our sins, and save by thy deliverance, who livest and reignest for ever. Amen. O Lord, store up our hearts, that we may prepare for thy only begotten Son, that through his coming we may be made worthy to serve thee with pure minds, who livest and reignest for ever. Amen. O Lord, we beg thee, incline thy ear to our prayers, and enlighten the darkness of our minds by the grace of thy visitation, who livest and reignest for ever. Amen. O Lord, store up thy power, we pray thee, and come. With, with great might help us, that with the help of thy grace, thy merciful forgiveness, may hasten what our sins impede, who livest and reignest for ever. Amen. Hail and blessed be the hour and moment in which the Son of God was incarnate in the womb of the most pure virgin. I beseech thee, O my God, to hear my prayer and grant our needs. We pray especially for world peace, in the name of the Prince of Peace, Jesus Christ, in the name of Emmanuel, God with us. We pray for justice. We pray for the deliverance from destruction and harm of all, especially children. We pray especially for peace and deliverance from terrorism and, and the like for the people of Gaza, the people of Israel, the people of East Africa and Central Africa, the Rohingya people, the Uyghur people, 
and for those who are persecuted. who face death or oppression, especially our fellow Christians, and most especially our fellow Catholics. Through the infinite merits of our Savior Jesus Christ, and through the prayers of his blessed mother, Saint Joseph, the four sainted forebearers of Christ who awaited his coming, all the angels and saints, and the whole body of Christ. Amen. O people of Zion, behold, the Lord is nigh at hand to redeem the nations. And in the gladness of your hearts, the Lord will cause his glorious voice to be heard. Show us thy mercy, O Lord, and grant us thy salvation. Come and save us, O Lord God of hosts. Show the light of thy countenance, and we shall be whole. Be strong, fear not. Behold, our God will come with a recompense, he will come and save us. Stir up thy strength, O Lord, and come and help us. Show me thy ways, O Lord, and teach me thy paths. The Lord shall rise up upon thee, O Jerusalem, and his glory shall be seen upon thee. Tomorrow night ye shall have salvation, saith the Lord of hosts. O Christ our God, who will come in thy sacred humanity to judge the world, sanctify us, that in the day of thy glorious advent, our souls and bodies may be brought to newness of life in thee, that we may live with thee in thy kingdom, to thy honor and glory. Amen. Stir up thy strength, we beseech thee, O Lord, and come, that we who are weighed down by the burden of our sins may be counted worthy of thy succor and be saved at thine advent who with God the Father, in the unity of the Holy Ghost, livest and reignest, God, world without end. Amen. Grant, O Lord, that we may so visit, that we may so wait for thy loving kindness in the midst of thy temple, that we may in lowly reverence make ready for the coming festival of our redemption, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. O God, who didst look upon man when he had fallen down unto death, and didst resolve to redeem him by the advent of thy only begotten Son, grant, we beseech thee, that they who confess his glorious incarnation may be so admitted to the fellowship of him, their Redeemer, through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. O Emmanuel, our King and Lawgiver, the desire of all nations and their salvation, come and save us, O Lord our God. And from the Magnificat of December 2023, volume 25, number 10. Page 325, Saturday, December 23rd, St. John of Canty, pray for us. Jesus Christ is the light of the world. Come, let us adore him. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. Maranatha. The Lord is coming. Come, O Lord. Maranatha. The great forerunner of the morn, the herald of the world, is born. And faithful hearts shall never fail, with thanks and praise, his light to hail. With heavenly message, Gabriel came, that John should be that herald's name. And with prophetic utterance told, his actions great and manifold. John, yet unborn, gave still aright his witness to the coming light. And Christ, the Son of all the earth, fulfilled that witness at his birth. Lo, I am sending my messenger to prepare the way before me. Malachi 3, 1. John, the last great prophet, is the lamp, but Jesus Christ is the morning star for which the dark world yearns in hope. Psalm 25. 
To you, O Lord, I lift up my soul. I trust you. Let me not be disappointed. Do not let my enemies triumph. Those who hope in you shall not be disappointed, but only those who wantonly break faith. Lord, make me know your ways. Lord, teach me your paths. Make me walk in your truth and teach me, for you are God, my Savior. In you I hope all day long because of your goodness, Lord. Remember your mercy, Lord, and the love you have shown from of old. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. Second Peter 1, 19. We possess the prophetic message that is altogether reliable. You will do well to be attentive to it, as to a lamp shining in a dark place, until day dawns and the morning star rises in your hearts. Jesus Christ is the morning star. Jesus said, I am the light of the world. Jesus Christ is the morning star. The daybreak from on high shall, will visit us to shine on those who sit in darkness and the sh death shadow to guide our feet into the path of peace. Luke 1, 78, 79. Jesus Christ is the morning star. Intercessions on page 326. To Jesus Christ, the light of the world, we pray, come and reward your people's hope. Come and reward your people's hope. You come as the dawn of everlasting day. Sustain and courage those who keep vigil through the long night of suffering. Come and reward your people's hope. You come as the son of justice to drive away the darkness of death. Sustain in hope and faith the terminally ill and those who watch beside them. Come and reward your people's hope. You come as the light of the world, sustain and joy all who, who are called to proclaim the gospel amid the clamor of this busy season. Come and reward your people's hope. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Lord Jesus Christ, you are the light in which we place our hope. Break upon our minds, clouded by confusion, hearts darkened by self-seeking, spirits dimmed by deadening habits, and set your people free to welcome your coming with joy, who live and reign with the Father in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. By the mercy of God, the great and terrible day of the Lord's arrival will be the answer to all our prayers. Suddenly there will come the Lord whom you seek. Just as Zechariah's obedience finally freed his tongue to speak and bless God, the Lord's refining fire of grace purifies us and turns our hearts back to him who is our Father. A child shall be born for us, and he will be called God the Almighty. Every tribe of the earth shall be blessed in him. Isaiah 9, 5, and Psalm 72, 17. Almighty and ever-living God, as we see how the nativity of your Son, according to the flesh, draws near, we pray that to us, your unworthy servants, mercy may flow from your word who chose to become flesh of the Virgin Mary and establish among us his dwelling, Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Malachi, from the third chapter, the first to the fourth verses, and the 23rd to the 24th verses. Thus says the Lord God, Lo, I am sending my messenger to prepare the way before me, and suddenly, they will come to the temple, the Lord, whom you seek, and the messenger of the covenant, whom you desire. Yes, he is coming, says the Lord of hosts. But who will endure the day of his coming? And who can stand when he appears? For he is like the refiner's fire, or like the fuller's lie. 
He will sit refining and purifying silver, and he will purify the sons of Levi, refining them like gold or like silver, that they may offer due sacrifice to the Lord. Then the sacrifice of Judah and Jerusalem will please the Lord, as in the days of old, as in years gone by. Lo, I will send you Elijah the prophet, before the day of the Lord comes, the great and terrible day, to turn the hearts of fathers to their children, and the hearts of the children to their fathers, lest I come and strike the land with doom. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. From Psalm 25. Lift up your heads and see, your redemption is near at hand. Lift up your heads and see, your redemption is near at hand. Your ways, O Lord, make known to me. Teach me your paths. Guide me in your truth and teach me, for you are God my Savior. Lift up your heads and see, your redemption is near at hand. Good and upright is the Lord. Thus he shows sinners the way. He guides the humble to justice. He teaches the humble his way. Lift up your heads and see. Your redemption is near at hand. All the paths of the Lord are kindness and constancy towards those who keep his covenant and his decrees. The friendship of the Lord is with those who fear him and his covenant for their instruction. Lift up your heads and see. Your redemption is near at hand. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. O King of all nations and keystone of the church, come and save man whom you formed from the dust. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke, from the first chapter, the 57th to the 66th verses. When the time arrived for Elizabeth to have her child, she gave birth to a son. Her neighbors and relatives heard that the Lord had shown his great mercy toward her, and they rejoiced with her. When they came on the eighth day to circumcise the child, they were going to call him Zechariah after his father. But his mother said in reply, No, he will be called John. But they answered her, There is no one among your relatives who has this name. So they made signs, asking his father what he wished him to be called. He asked for a tablet and wrote, John is his name. And all were amazed. Immediately his mouth was opened, his tongue freed, and he spoke, Blessing God. Then fear came upon all, all their neighbors, and all these matters were discussed throughout the hill country of Judea. All who heard these things took them to heart, saying, What then will this child be? For surely the hand of the Lord was with him. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Behold, I stand at the door and knock. If anyone hears my voice and opens the door to me, I will enter his house and dine with him and he with me. Revelation 3.20 Prepare us to celebrate, O Lord, the feast of the birth of your Son, Emmanuel, God with us. And grant that as we finish up this time of Advent, we may truly open wide the doors of our hearts. For though there was no room for Christ in the inn, may there be room in every aspect of our lives for Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Grant, O Lord, by the divine worship in its fullness, which has been inaugurated for us in our Savior, Jesus Christ, be our perfect reconciliation with you, O Lord, that we may celebrate with minds made pure the nativity of our Redeemer, who lives and reigns forever and ever. 
Amen. Grant your peace, O Lord, to those you have called to your eternal life and grant that we may prepare ourselves to receive communion with great devotion, to receive the very body and blood of your Son, especially on the feast of his nativity that we are preparing for. Grant that we may be ready with lighted lamps like the wise virgins to meet your dearly beloved Son at his coming in glory, and grant that we may be ready to meet him when we leave this world through the gates of death, that we may enter through him, who is our morning star, who is our rising sun, who is our salvation. Emmanuel, God with us, Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that by the example of the priest St. John of Canty, we may advance in the knowledge of holy things, and by showing compassion to all, may gain forgiveness in your sight. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Page 331. What Zechariah learns in silence. The direction of oneself toward God and toward solitude in him prepares the soul for the acquisition of that peace that helps us in the most distracting, most active external work. Man's silence makes room for God's word. When man is silent, God is heard. And when we listen intently to God, we maintain our silence even in the midst of our speech. Everything around man makes far less noise than man himself. The echo that magnifies eternal things in our soul, this is the real uproar. This is the penetrating truth. We often do an injustice to the external word in blaming it for forcing us into distraction and noise. The longings of our soul, the disorder of our ideas and our thoughts, the diversity of our aims, it is these things that make the tumult inside us. Only our inner spiritual attitude can seal the entrance through which all these stray scraps tumble into our soul. If it is possible to open this door, it is also possible to close it. A voice crying in the wilderness has to announce to the soul, make straight the way of the Lord. In order to practice quiet within oneself, it is necessary to call on the aid of the virtues, patience, which calms the torment of sadness in us, perseverance and constancy, which overcome disquiet and fickleness, the shifting of intentions, plans and goals from one object to another, longanimity or long-suffering, plays its part by controlling the feverish disturbance of work. Humility and disinterestedness conquer the desire we feel for attention. Through the latter, our work takes on the subtle quality of a deed maturing in secret, like a flower in the bud, until the time comes for it to bloom. The longing for renown, the proclamation of our own deeds, and sometimes even only of our plans, robs us of peace and of real thoroughness in our work, for there is too much for display in them, too much that is done for applause and renown, and too much seeking for immediate payment. The spirit of quiet demands humility and disinterestedness. The spirit of calm, as the fruit of love and justice, brings with it order and concord, and drives out disputes, discord, quarrelsomeness, and division. All of these are the fruit of quiet poured into the soul. By Blessed Stefan Wyszynski, who died in 1981, was a Polish archbishop and cardinal who was a courageous and outspoken opponent of both Nazism and communism. Jesus Christ is Emmanuel, God with us. Come, let us adore him. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O come, O come, Emmanuel, and ransom captive Israel, that mourns in lonely exile here, until the Son of God appear, 
Rejoice, rejoice, Emmanuel shall come to thee, O Israel. Page 333. I will place my law within them and write it upon their hearts. I will be their God and they shall be my people. Jeremiah 31, 33. From Psalm 106, verses 4 and 5 and 45 and 48. Come to me, Lord, with your help, that I may see the joy of your chosen ones and may rejoice in the gladness of your nation and share the glory of your people. For their sake, he remembered his covenant. In the greatness of his love, he relented, and he let them be treated with mercy by all who held them captive. O Lord, our God, save us. Bring us together from among the nations that we may thank your holy name and make it our glory to praise you. Blessed be the Lord God of Israel forever from age to age. Let all the people cry out, Amen, Amen, Alleluia. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Revelation 21.3 I heard a loud voice from the throne saying, Behold, God's dwelling is with the human race. He will dwell with them and they will be his people. And God himself will always be with them as their God. The Lord is near, Philippians 4, 5. O Emmanuel, our King and Lawgiver, the hope of all nations and their Savior, come and save us, O Lord our God. The Lord is near. Intercessions on page 334. From the world's deserts, we stand to pray in hope to the one who comes among us as the presence of God's life-giving love. Come, Lord Jesus. Come, Lord Jesus. You came to make visible God's creative love for all people. Kindle in your people the fire of your love amid the dulling cold of winter. Come, Lord Jesus. You came to make visible God's fidelity to his promise of salvation. Make vibrant your people's fidelity in a world of broken promises and hollow words. Come, Lord Jesus. You came to make visible God's presence in every time and place. Renew our faith in your abiding presence in your church. Come, Lord Jesus. The virgin will conceive, on page 336, the virgin shall conceive and bear a son, and she shall name him Emmanuel. With longing for the Lord and his coming at Christmas, we offer our prayers to the Eternal Father. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison, Kyrie for the church, that she may draw light and strength from the faith of Mary and Joseph. Kyrie elehison, Kyrie elehison, Kyrie elehison. For legislators and leaders of nations, that the Lord may guide their decisions in order to uphold the dignity of human life at every stage, from conception to natural death. Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison. For all Christian families, that they may bear witness to the hope that is born from the fruit of love. Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison for an increase of vocations to the priesthood and to consecrated life, that young men and women may generously spawn to the invitation of Jesus. Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison, for the isolated, depressed, or forgotten, that the Lord may comfort them in their time of need. Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison, for the grace this week to welcome the presence of Jesus that comes to us through the motherhood of the Blessed Virgin Mary, as we reflect on the wonder of Emmanuel, God with us, this Advent and this Christmas tide. Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison. 
Eternal Father, you so love the world that you sent your only Son, Jesus Christ, to be our Redeemer. Grant that, united with him in charity, we may love you with the love of the Holy Spirit, through Christ our Lord. Amen. God is faithful. Christ will come. Let us rejoice and be glad. Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison. Long ago, prophets knew Christ would come, born a Jew, come to make all things new, bear his people's burden, freely love and pardon. Ring bells, ring, 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 sing choir, sing, 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 when he comes, when he comes, who will make him welcome? God in time, God in man, this is God's timeless plan. He will come as a man, born himself of woman, God divinely human. Ring bells, ring, 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 sing choir, sing, sing, sing. When he comes, when he comes, who will make him welcome? Mary hail, though afraid, she believed, she obeyed. In her womb, God is laid till the time expected, nurtured and protected. Ring bells, ring, 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 sing choir, sing, sing, sing. When he comes, when he comes, who will make him welcome? Come and save us, Lord, our God. Let your face shine upon us that we may be saved. Maranatha, come, O Christ, the Lord. Show us, Lord, your love and grant us your salvation. Maranatha, come, O Christ, the Lord. The Lord is our judge, our lawgiver, our king. He it is who will save us. Maranatha, come, O Christ, the Lord. Raise your voice and tell the good news. Behold, the Lord God comes with power. <coughs> Maranatha, come, O Christ, the Lord. Let the clouds rain down the just one, and the earth bring forth the Savior. Maranatha, come, O Christ, the Lord. Seek the Lord while he may be found. Call him while he is near. Maranatha, come, O Christ the Lord. Prepare the way of the Lord, make straight his paths. All flesh shall see the salvation of God. Maranatha, come, O Christ the Lord. The Lord will come, go out to meet him. He is the Prince of Peace. Maranatha, come, O Christ the Lord. Behold, our Lord will come with power. He will enlighten the eyes of his servants. Maranatha, come, O Christ the Lord. Behold, the Lord comes to save his people. Blessed are those prepared to meet him. Maranatha, come, O Christ the Lord. Behold, the King will come, the Lord of earth, and he will take away the yoke of our captivity. Maranatha, come, O Christ the Lord. Come, O Lord, do not delay. Forgive the sins of your people. Maranatha, come, O Christ the Lord. Come, Lord, bring us your peace, that we may rejoice before you with a perfect heart. Maranatha, come, O Christ the Lord. 
O wisdom of our God Most High, guiding creation with power and love, come to teach us the path of knowledge. Maranatha, come, O Christ the Lord, O leader of the house of Israel, giver of the law to Moses on Sinai, come to rescue us with your mighty power. Maranatha, come, O Christ the Lord. O root of Jesse's stem, sign of God's love for all your, his people, come to save us without delay. Maranatha, come, O Christ the Lord. O key of David, opening the gates of God's eternal kingdom, come and free the prisoners of darkness. Maranatha, come, O Christ the Lord. O Emmanuel, our King and giver of law, come to us and save us, Lord our God. Maranatha, come, O Christ the Lord. O King of all nations and keystone of the church, come and save man whom you form from the dust. Maranatha, come, O Christ the Lord. O radiant dawn, splendor of eternal light, son of justice, Come and shine on those who dwell in darkness, in the shadow of death. Maranatha, come, O Christ the Lord. A light of revelation to the Gentiles and the glory of your people Israel. Maranatha, come, O Christ the Lord. Gabriel's message does away Satan's curse and Satan's sway. Out of darkness brings out day. So behold, so behold, all the gates of heaven unfold. He that comes despised shall reign. He that cannot die be slain. Death by death its death shall gain. So behold, so behold, all the gates of heaven unfold. Weakness shall the strong confound by their hands in grave clothes wound. Adam's chain shall be unbound. So behold, so behold, all the gates of heaven unfold. By the sword that was his own, by that sword and that alone, shall Goliath be o'erthrown. So behold, so behold, all the gates of heaven unfold. Art by art shall be assailed, to the cross shall life be nailed, from the grave shall hope be hailed. So behold, so behold, all the gates of heaven unfold. Thou camest bridegroom of the bride, as drew the world, to even tide, proceeding from a virgin shrine, the Son of Man, yet God divine. At thy great name exalted now, all knees must bend, all hearts must bow, and things in heaven and earth shall own that thou art Lord and King alone. To thee, O Holy One, we pray, our judge on that tremendous day, preserve us while we dwell below from every onslaught of the foe. All praise, eternal Son, to thee, whose advent sets thy people free, whom with the Father we adore, and spirit blessed for evermore. Ah, amen. Come thou, O Lord, expected Jesus, Born to who set thy people free from our fears and sins release us. Let us find our rest in thee. Israel's strength and consolation, hope of all the earth thou art. <coughs> Dear desire of every nation, joy of every longing heart. Born thy people to deliver, born a child and yet a king. <coughs> born to reign for us forever, 
now thy gracious kingdom bring. By thine own eternal spirit, rule in all our hearts alone. By thine all-sufficient merit, raise us to thy glorious throne. Glory to God who reigns on high, peace around the earth. Mortals shall know their maker's love at their redeemer's birth. Glory to God who reigns on high, peace around the earth. Mortals shall know their maker's love at their redeemer's birth. Hark the glad sound, the Savior comes, the Savior promised long. Let every heart prepare a throne and every voice a throng. He comes, the prisoners to release, in Satan's bondage held. The gates of brass before him burst, the iron fetters yield. He comes, the broken heart to bind, the bleeding soul to cure, and with the treasures of his grace enrich the humble poor. Our glad Hosanna's Prince of Peace, thy welcome shall proclaim, and heaven's eternal arches ring with thy beloved name. Glory to God who reigns on high, peace around the earth, mortals shall know their maker's love at their redeemer's birth. from the Magnificat Advent Companion for Advent 2023, published by Magnificat, for Saturday, December 23rd, page 66. His name is John. When a couple brings home their first child, life takes on a new dimension. The home in which they have been living now houses a new presence. The same two people who met and married are not only husband and wife, but mother and father. Forever marked by this event, so much is the same, but this change, this newness invests everything. Zachariah and Elizabeth have experienced this change with their newborn son. Elizabeth <coughs> has even proclaimed that God has taken her shame away, and Zechariah has welcomed this truly unexpected son with the silence that was no doubt full of wonder. And on the eighth day, their neighbors and relatives were shocked at the name they chose, a name that had never been in their family history. It is the same circumcision ceremony that has been celebrated for hundreds of years, a ritual so much like so many others they had all previously attended. But Elizabeth's authoritative naming of her son seconded with the same mysterious certainty by Zechariah, prophesies that something radically new is happening in their family. Indeed, all Israel will be forever marked by this event. This son will announce that the Ancient of Days will come among them in the newness of the Word made flesh, whose presence will pervade history so that all flesh may see the saving power of God. Reflection on Luke 1, 57-56 by Father Richard Veras. Loving Father, may we share the joy of Elizabeth and the wonder of Zechariah as we anticipate the dawn from on high breaking upon us in the coming of your Son. December 23rd, O Emmanuel, God with us. Page 67. <coughs> Not as a king you come here now, no gold your throne adorns, no royal crown is on your brow, except a crown of thorns. You come a holy law to teach, a perfect rule to set, give blind their sight and mute their speech, and be rejected yet. Oh, make us one with you below, in heart and will and love, and when our time draws nigh to go, Still keep us one above. We wait in faith, we wait in prayer until the happy morn, when you shall come our flesh to share, and for our sake 
be born. O Emmanuel, our King and Lawgiver, the desire of all nations in their Savior, come and save us, O Lord our God. Amen. O come, O come, Emmanuel, and ransom captive V Israel that mourns in lonely exile here until the Son of God appear. Rejoice, rejoice, Emmanuel shall come to thee, O Israel. Father, in the wilderness of the Jordan, you sent a messenger, John the Baptist, to prepare people's hearts for the coming of your Son. Help me hear his words and repent of my sins, so that I may clearly see the way to walk, the truth to speak, and the life to live for him, our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Ye servants of the Lord, each for your master wait, observant of his heavenly word, and watchful at his gate. Let all your lamps be bright, and trim the golden flame. Gird up your loins as in his sight, for awesome is his name. Watch tis your Lord's command, and while we speak he's near. Mark the first signal of his hand, and ready all appear. O happy servant he, in such a posture found, he shall his Lord with rapture see, and be with honor crowned. Christ shall the banquet spread with his own royal hand, and raise that faithful servant's head amid the angelic band. from A Time for Holy Listening by Sister Janet Schaeffler, Dominican, Advent 2023, Daily Reflections, Practices, and Prayers, published by 23rd Publications, 2023. Waterford, Connecticut. Saturday of the third week, St. John of Canty, pray for us. December 23rd, excessive generous living. Fear, awe, came upon all their neighbors, and all these matters were discussed throughout the hill country of Judea. Luke 1, 65. Everything in the story of Elizabeth and Zechariah seems excessive, beyond belief. Perhaps that how it is with our generous God. Today's feast fits right in. John Canty, a professor of theology at the University of Krakow, was known as a serious, humble person, totally at the service of the poor. One day he was robbed by thieves. When they asked if he had more money hidden on him, they could not find, they were not finding. He said no. Later discovering some coins buried in his pocket, he set out to find the robbers to give them these remaining coins. Experiencing this mind-boggling excessive generosity, the robber's response was return all that they had originally taken. Daily practice. Be excessive today, not in buying more presents or more decorations or more food and drink for your celebrations, but in giving your time, being present, or responding to the needs of others. Don't give just what is needed. Be excessive. Go overboard. Advent prayer. God of excessive love, my story and our story, abound with your care, generosity, and faithfulness are beyond my imagination. Jesus, becoming one of us, is certainly your prime gift of excessive love to us. Help me to learn from him, living as an excessive giver of care, of kindness, and of peace. And from Mini Meditations for Advent, 
by Florence Wedge, published by Ligori Publications, Ligori, Missouri, in 1977. Page, the bottom of page 17. Saturday, the third week of Advent. Follow your star. The wise men saw a star and were inspired to follow it. They did so and found the child with Mary as mother. Every inspiration of grace is like a light star of light that beckons to us. Endowed with free will, we can choose to follow the star at its rising or to forget we ever saw it. Lord, grant me the promptness, patience, and generosity of the wise men in following the beckoning star. May I heed all the inspirations of your grace. The Great Christmas Robbery. It happens that when Christ is robbed of his true place in Christmas, we are so busy with material preparations, parties, shopping, gift-giving, that we practically forget whose birthday we are about to observe. The Christmas liturgy refers to the enthronement ceremony of the Son of God. Is Christ enthroned in my life? Or has someone or something stolen his place in my devotion and love? Jesus, my Lord, May I always allow you to rule and reign over me. Page 19. The two trees. One is the Christmas tree, resplendent with lights, ornaments, tinsel, and other sparkling baubles. The other is the tree of Calvary. Growing, glowing with the crimson blood of the world's Redeemer. He came among us to die, and not even at Christmas time can we afford to forget it. What would his birth have profited us if there had been no death march to Calvary for our sake? Lord Jesus, fill my soul with gratitude for what you endured for us, from the hard wood of the manger to the hard wood of the cross. Lift up your heads, ye mighty gates. Behold, the King of glory waits. The King of kings is drawing near. The Savior of the world is here. Oh, bless the land, the city blessed, where Christ as ruler is confessed. Oh, happy hearts, unhappy homes, to whom the king in triumph comes. Come then, O Savior, and abide our hearts to thee, he open wide our hearts to thee. May all presence feel to all thy grace and love reveal. <coughs> Lo, he, he comes, with clouds descending, once for favored sinners slain, thousand thousand saints attending, swell the triumph of his train. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. God appears on earth to reign. Yea, amen, let all adore thee, high on thine eternal throne. Savior, take the power and glory, claim the kingdom for thine own. Oh, come quickly, oh, come quickly, oh, come quickly, come Lord Jesus, come, O Lord.
Almighty God, give us grace that we may cast away the works of darkness and put upon us the armor of light now in the time of this mortal life, in which your Son, Jesus Christ, came to visit us in great humility. On that last day, when he shall come again in his glorious majesty to judge both the living and the dead, may we rise to the life immortal, through him who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Merciful God, who sent your messengers, the prophets, to preach repentance and prepare the way for our salvation, give us grace to heed their warnings and forsake our sins, that we may greet with joy the coming of Jesus Christ, our Redeemer, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Stir up your power, O Lord, and with great might come among us. And because we are solely hindered by our sins, let your bountiful grace and mercy speedily help and deliver us. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, to whom with you and the Holy, God, Holy Spirit be honor and glory, world without end. Amen. We beseech you, Almighty God, to purify our consciences by your daily visitation, that when your Son, our Lord, comes, he may find in us a mansion prepared for himself. Through the same Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. On Jordan's bank the Baptist cry announces that the Lord is nigh. Awake and hearken, for he brings glad tidings of the King of Kings. Grant your faithful, we pray, Almighty God, the resolve to run forth to meet your Christ with righteous deeds at his coming, so that gathered at his right hand, they may be worthy to possess the heavenly kingdom through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Almighty and merciful God, may no earthly undertaking hinder those who set out in haste to meet your Son, but may our learning of heavenly wisdom gain us admittance to his company, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. O God, who see how your people faithfully await the feast of the Lord's Nativity, enable us, we pray, to attain the joys of so great a salvation, to celebrate them always with solemn worship and glad rejoicing, through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Pour forth, we beseech thee, O Lord, thy grace into our hearts, that we to whom the incarnation of Christ, thy Son, was made known by the message of an angel, may by his passion and cross be brought to the glory of his resurrection, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Come quickly, we pray, Lord Jesus, and do not delay, that those who trust in your compassion may find solace and release at your coming, who live and reign with God the Father in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. May the almighty and merciful God, by whose grace you have placed your faith in the first coming of his only begotten Son, and yearn for his coming again, sanctify you by the radiance of Christ's advent, and enrich you with his blessing. Amen. And as you run the race of this present life, may he make you firm in faith, joyful in hope, and active in charity. Amen. So that, rejoicing now with devotion at the Redeemer's coming in the flesh, you may be endowed with the rich reward of eternal life, when he comes again in majesty. Amen. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit come down on you and remain with you forever. Amen. The angel Gabriel from heaven came.
His wings as drifted snow, his eyes aflame. O oh, hail, said he, thou lowly maiden, Mary, most highly favored lady, glory. Behold a blessed mother thou shalt be, all generations, Lord, continually. Thy son shall be Emmanuel, by seers foretold, most highly favored lady, Gloria. The Virgin Mary meekly bowed her head, to me be as it pleaseth God, she said, my soul shall laud and magnify his holy name, most highly favored lady, Gloria. Wave there, Father Paul Ring, Benjamin Albanese. Joan Watton. There we go. Bye now. Christ is in our midst, he is it always will be. And may you have a blessed uh, ending of Advent and a blessed Christmas tide. For Christ is in our midst, he is and always will be.